So I had a question last week about what to do when you're presenting and you have a heavy accent and also how to think creatively and on the spot while you're presenting. So the first part of the question about the accent. Now, this is going to be common for just about anybody who is a non-native English speaker, which is most of the world. So first of all, don't worry too much about your accent. But if you find that it is difficult for people to understand you, then yes, you should definitely do something about it. So what you can do, a really simple way to practice and improve your accent is to use the built-in voice dictation software in your Mac or your PC. So you'd open up a program and then start the voice dictation and read something. So if you read something and the computer is able to understand what you're saying, that means that your accent was okay. So what you can do is you can actually get someone else's speaking and copy what they're saying. So for example, if there's a speech, if there's a scene from a movie. You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Or whatever, you just copy what they're saying. You can have the computer listen to that voice and it'll probably, you know, reproduce it perfectly with the voice dictation. Then you try and do the same thing. Now, if that voice dictation listens to you and writes down exactly what you just said, perfect. If not, work on the different words. Work on the words that are difficult for you to pronounce properly or that your accent, you know, the words are where your accent is getting in the way. So practice those words over and over again until the computer recognizes you saying that word. So that should mean that your accent is improving or is being reduced so that you sound clearer to the computer, which ultimately means you're probably going to sound clearer to your audience as well when you're giving your presentation. So that's just how you would improve your accent if you're worried about having a heavy accent. Now thinking creatively is a little bit different because it will take a little bit more time and practice. Not that reducing your accent is going to be fast, it'll probably take some time too, but thinking creatively will definitely require a bit of time and effort on your part. What I mean is that you'll need to be a little bit more, I guess, aware of other things in the world. So you'll probably have to read a lot more different books. You'll have to be aware of a lot more different things going on. And when you have all this information and knowledge in your brain, it's much easier for you to be creative because you have this vast array of knowledge that you already have stored in your brain. So that any one time when someone's talking about something, when something happens, you can learn or draw on the experience and the knowledge you have that you've been studying. So thinking creatively doesn't mean that you just, it, it just happens. You do have to study and work at it and improve slowly over time. Thinking creatively is also a lot of practice. So put yourself in situations where you need to be creative and think about solutions and think about problems and solutions. In fact, that's probably one of the best ways to think creatively when you have to all of a sudden is to think about what is the current problem? What are the consequences? and then what is the solution to that problem. If you just use that format, it's actually pretty easy to be creative because you know exactly what you have to talk about already. So those are a couple more ways to improve your creativity so that when you're giving a presentation, you can think more creatively when you're on the spot. So learning more, reading more, doing more, and practicing being creative will help you naturally be more creative. So I hope that helps answer your question about you know what to do if you have a bit of a heavy accent and also thinking creatively. If you're still unsure, well, let me know. Give me some more questions. Ask me some more questions and I'll try my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.